at 1C Applegate on Twitter, the Emmy Award winning actress who we fell in love with, at least I did, and married with children, <laughs> and also in both Anchorman films, uh, Emmy Award winner from uh, a couple of uh, years on Friends. Good to see you, Christina Good to see you too, Applegate. Rich. Hello. You, you have been part of some really funny ensemble casts in your career. I've been when very, you think very about lucky. It. How did you get Very involved? Lucky. How did you get involved with just say Anchorman to begin with? Just throw I auditioned that one out for there. it. I you did. had to audition, and then I had to screen test for it. And Will and I had such a good time, and you know, it was the first time I had was asked to improv in an audition, and I was terrified. What do you mean? They just I, threw it at you? Like just just say whatever you want to say, you guys. And I was like, oh, my God, I'd never done that before. <laughs> you know, I was on Married with Children. And it was like, you, you know, you stick to the script. You do sure. not, you know, go off of what they have written. For most television so shows. So this was like a really you. bizarre thing. And I think right. what happened was I, I got into a groove with it. And that's why I think why I ended up getting the job. How does I could play? Is it safe for work? How you got in the groove? Because some <laughs> of the things that they say from the film are not. Well, what I said in the world. audition was, is, I can't repeat here. What Santiago it, really it, means or something? No, it was something that I just threw in. I don't even know what I said. I know what I said, but I can't say it. But I, I just I just heard like Adam McKay like cracking up and Will started to crack up. There's actual footage of it, of what I said that's on a, the audition tape. Okay. And I think that was what got, that's what got me the job. Now, did you watch any specific local news anchors for your work? I did. The, there was a documentary that was all, which was what sparked the idea of Anchorman for Will and for Adam, mm -hmm. which was sort of this, this time when it was very misogynistic and there was no females in, in that, that arena. Mm -hmm. And so I watched that, um, which was really fascinating. And I studied um, just some of the first female anchors during that time, during the 70s, and and their their voices were different. So and you did serious research. I did serious research. I like read, you know, Jessica Savage's book. I re you know, I was reading wow. stuff of Barbara Walters. And I know it doesn't appear that I did any research <laughs> when you did watch the movie, but I'm telling you right now, I had to like find, for me, I needed to have that information to see what Kind of struggles it was like for a woman at that time yeah, to come into that business. I mean, I didn't read those books, but was there a part of Barbara Walters' memoirs when she walked into an office and her colleagues were singing a cappella afternoon delight that came in handy for <laughs> no. you? No, no, that it didn't. was more about like just trying to find who Veronica was, you know, and Veronica, and 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 that's what sort of inspired her having three piece suits, because I thought even though it was a skirt, she had, was wearing like three piece suits in this the whole time because she's right. dealing in a man's world, and I thought. For her, she has to appear to be incredibly strong. Mm -hmm. So there was a lot that came in with that. The, it was the voice, the 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 motivation, the struggles of, of what these women were going through at that time. Right, and um, and then you kind of have to let it all go and just and sure and make the funny. Who was the one that you couldn't you couldn't keep from laughing? Was all there of one? them? But Carell, Steve Carell, we would leave. Like Paul would come to my room and be like, Carell's up," and I'm like, "Let's go, let's go." And we'd go down to set to make sure that we sat and watched what he was going to do because he's like the master. They're all master improvers. They're sure. just like insane. Mm -hmm. But Steve Carell was like, you know, virtually unknown at that time. And so he was this like revelation <laughs> to us. <laughs> and heaven forbid there was ever a, a weather guy like him. <laughs> In, oh, in, yeah. in, in real in real life, I think that they exist. But I have we I have make. I have had Ron Burgundy moments where I have read the prompter, just you know because the words are there. Yeah, I have done that. It happens. And thank goodness, you know. And go mm, for yourself, San Diego. Yeah, that ha yeah, thankfully that hadn't happened. But the Chargers <laughs> just did leave San Diego, so we did make some references. You mean in that San regard. Diego? It's <laughs> not San Diego. San That's Diego. correct. We talk about the whale. Um, yeah. Here on the Rich Eyes Show with Christina Applegate. Um, let's talk about um, whysoawake.com and your association with it. You suffered from insomnia for, for many years. For most of my adult life, um, variations of it. You know, from from not being able to fall asleep till late. When, but now, what I what my problem is, I can fall asleep, but I wake up about five or six times during the night, and. I, by coming into this campaign with whysoawake.com and with Merck, I, I learned that I was doing everything wrong. What before. do you mean by that? Um, number one, your phone, your tablet, your whatever you have, mm -hmm. um, the blue light actually activates the awake brain because there's two systems. You have your awake system and your sleep system in your brain. Mm -hmm. um, it's the thing that just the synapses that sort of dictate what's happening here. Mm -hmm. 
the blue light literally activates it. It tells, like in seconds, tells that the awake part of your brain to stay awake. So what are you doing? You're going, before you go to sleep, you're looking at your phone. And so you're literally waking yourself up. You're, uh, it's not content. It's not anything. It's an actual light on your phone. Because I do leave the phone to the side of the bed. And sometimes when my kid comes in at three in the morning for whatever reason, there's always mm -hmm. something. Um, sometimes I'll just look at the phone just to see what time it is. And, and you basically just put an alarm off to your awake brain. And I used to do that, too. And then I'd be up. And now I like don't. If I wake up in the middle of the night, I like don't will not go near it because I know that it's going to stimulate. But I also turn down the blue light at 6 p.m. It goes off, mm -hmm. and from 6 p.m. to 7 a.m. the blue light stays off. What about diet? Does that have anything to do with this what? too? But what, what about diet when you well, eat? Well, of some? course, if okay. you're eating too close to going to bed, mm -hmm. if um, you should have your room should be 68 degrees or lower. I know for some people that's too cold. Well, then put on some socks. But it really is important to have that. Um, if you do fall asleep to the television to put your sleep timer on, because oftentimes in the middle of the night, the television uh, goes louder, especially if it's like infomercials, uh -huh. it'll wake you up. Like if I fall asleep, I can sleep with the television on mm -hmm. where it's like a, a normal show. And then my husband got in this habit before of turning on CNN and that literally would wake me up. <laughs> like I could have been asleep for like four hours and then all of a sudden I'd hear and it's not seeing it's not their fault it's like the it's not it, a don lemon situation no i love don lemon it's a volume <laughs> thing um it's a volume it's 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 a tonality okay but there's a lot of things you can do if you go to why so awake.com it there's like a survey you can kind of find out mm -hmm. what you may be doing wrong you know and then and, and then how to solve it you know talking to you know your doctor your health practitioner about what you can do you know there are certain you know herbs and teas and yoga and Maybe just mm -hmm. shutting it all off way before you go to bed sure. with the world, because the world is stimulating. Sure, just shut it down. <laughs> just shut it down, man. Take your mobile devices and your tele put them and away. Any, anything put them away visually your, stimulating and yeah. just put it away. Blue light. So you're at six o'clock at night. Your phone is different. You turn yep. off the television. Are you any better? Yeah, and it's funny. The last like month or so. I, I haven't been sleeping. And then I looked at my phone this morning, mm -hmm. and for some reason I had shut it to, it goes from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. with mm -hmm. my warm light. So I've, I've been doing this to myself for like a month. Get out of here. Like looking at my phone, setting my alarm, and stimulating my brain. Well, thank God you found out something that well, was thank actually... Well, God, thank God for this program, because I found out this morning mm -hmm. when I was like, oh, maybe I should check that. <laughs> so the Rich Eisen show is... Has become you a have literally, I'm probably going to sleep tonight because I didn't sleep last night. We Thank put you. people to sleep here on the rich. No, that's not a good promo at all. Yeah, that's no. not, that's, <laughs> that's not, terrible. that's not what we're supposed to be promoting here. <laughs> but, but why so awake.com is a great spot for you to check this out. If you are uh, afflicted, that's a good word for it with, with insomnia at why so awake on Twitter. I'd like to take a 60 second break and come back. And if mm -hmm. you don't mind, Chris law, the bearded one that's across the way yes. over there has, um, has some questions about married with children he'd like to see if you you can answer okay <laughs> well, we, had, we had mark paul gosler in here and i was a big saved by the bell fan growing up and i was whenever you talked with friends about saved by the bell and people were like oh, i i know that show and i developed a standard 10 question saved by the bell trivia to know if people were truly fans i, do, I do, don't you're not show. gonna do that one to me right but, <laughs> with married with children, that, you know, no okay no we were gonna ask but, you some married with children got it see, okay. see, if, see okay. if i can remember when was the last time you saw an episode yeah it's been a long time is it really <laughs> yeah it's been a while i was shooting the movie vacation in atlanta and i would fall asleep to tbs now this is the funniest thing uh -huh. and at five in the morning when i'm supposed to be getting up yeah I would get up and Married with Children was on every morning at 5 a.m. We didn't have a sleep timer there, so I kind of quite messed up. But I'd wake up to myself and I'd be like, ah! Wow! God, I was thin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and young. Oh my gosh. You're, you're, not, you're, not, you're doing great for yourself, oh, Christina. Thanks. Let's just put it that way. Christina Applegate here on The Rich Eyes and Show. We are back in 60 seconds with more on 60 the program. Seconds. It's just 60 seconds. Yeah. All right, pleased to spend a few more minutes here in studio with Christina Applegate. Uh, how old were you when Married with Children? I thought you were going to say, how old are you? No, when <laughs> Married with Children <laughs> knocked on your when Married with um, Children knocked on the door. I was 15. 15. Mm -hmm. And you read the script. Doesn't that make you all feel like dirty old? Well, yeah. I mean, I'm, <laughs> old, I'm older than yeah. you, so yes. yes. I was, yeah, I was 15. And I, I, now when you read the script, too. did you think this is 
so right, it's wrong, or it's wrong, it's right? It's, or? it's funny. I did not want to do the show. I thought it was, at that time, I was on a drama series. Okay. And I thought it was disgusting. And I wouldn't even <laughs> audition for it. And then they went ahead and shot a pilot with two other kids. And it just didn't, for whatever reason, the chemistry just didn't work. And they came back to me and said, will you please come in? And I was like, no. <laughs> and they sent me the pilot. My mom and I did not want to like it. And we turned it on and we started, we were stifling laughing. So I thought, I'll go in. But I had never done comedy before. It's amazing because so, we, we've had Ed O'Neill on this show Eddie. sitting in that seat. And he said, you know, because he was Lenny of Mice and Men. Somebody saw him do Lenny. That's and what said, I'm that's saying. Al like, Bundy. That's what I'm saying. Like he and I both kind of came from like, you know, being very <laughs> that you're thespians. Yes, you're you know thespians. I mean? thespians. Well, maybe that's why it worked. I think it probably. I know that my mom said to him on day one, "Look, Christina's not very good at comedy. Will you help her?" <laughs> and uh, I guess it just it worked out. Eventually, I I figured it out. He's royalty. He is. Ro yeah. I mean, he is absolute royal. We yeah. loved having him here. And, He's uh, the best. And he has the best job now. He, like, works two days a week. Uh, yeah, but on, like modern, days. Uh, on Modern Family. He works two days a week, half days. And, you know, he, I don't know if you're aware, he because he, he told this story, too, that he wanted to play football yeah. for a living. And I he know. got cut by the Pittsburgh Steelers mm -hmm. in 1969, and then he starts acting, and now look at him. I know. Yeah, it's an incredible story. He's a smart man. I know. Uh, okay. All right. Chris game. Law. Here we go. Okay. This Here's just an example question, the floor. just to give you an idea of what we're looking at here. <laughs> okay. I'll start, this is just like an easy one. How, how many touchdowns did Al Bundy once famously score in a game? Three. Polk High football. Ooh, this could be some trouble. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. What? But that was just an example. It was four. So four? what do you mean? What do you see? What do you mean by an example? I like it was three touchdowns. Oh, sorry, guys. It's okay. But I'm not sorry, you guys. Mike, I'm saying music. sorry to Law. I mean, the, which, the which ones? Is. Now let's get to the ones that okay. apparently count. I, I don't four. know if count I was for testing one. you. <laughs> this this one's girl. more about you personally okay. and to see if you know. Within five episodes, how many episodes did Kelly Bundy appear in Married with Children? Hmm. Wait, within f Within five? Yeah, within five. He wants to, he'll give you a five. Like, a little range. Like 300 and something? Well, there are that, 263 that... episodes of the show, <laughs> and you appeared in 261 of them. Ooh. I, okay. Only Ed I... and Katie. This is good. Oh, no. Going. 300 was how many shows I did appearances of, um, on Sweet Charity on Broadway. See, I got that confused. <laughs> we did 365 of those. See, you are a legit okay. actor. Okay. See, okay. When it all see comes down I was to on it. the Broadway. Okay. David Faustina <laughs> played your brother on the show, mm -hmm. Bud Bundy. What I know was that. Bud Bundy's rap name? Um... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Grandmaster B. Boom. Yeah! yeah. Okay. okay. Mic drop, mic drop. What was the name of the shoe store Al Bundy worked at? We all know he was a woman's I shoe see salesman. It. It's a dude's name. It's like Steve's or something like that, or... Gary's Shoes and Accessories okay. for Today's Thank Woman. We'll give you half credit, okay, even though we don't you. know what credit I is. I knew it was a man's name. There was good, very good. Okay, two more left. Okay. What does No Ma'am stand for? Obviously, it was the group Oh, it's the National Something of Nomadic Something <laughs> Against Amazonian, Amazonian Women. Close. That is Mother close. That's womanhood. Very, that's very close. Uh, no Ma'am is the national organization of men against Amazonian masterhood. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay. I'll give you credit for that, too. Yeah, totally. What was the name of Al Bundy's Playboy style adult magazine that was his preferred re reading material of choice? Jugs? <laughs> I mean, that's that's a good guess. It's, it's a good guess. But it's, it's a good guess. It's, it's Biggins. 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 There you go. We got the photograph even up there. Okay. Look at Law. You, you put production value into you this. Know, we sent some stuff over there. Okay. I got one more if you really want. Yeah, and then I have one for you. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Flip it. Okay. <laughs> what jersey number did Al Bundy wear at Polk High? Come on. It, uh, because we talked so, about some of the cameos in, on this show. Lawrence right, we've Taylor, had a lot Ronnie of people. It was like something one, like 31 or oh. 21 or. What is it? Maybe the three touchdowns came from this one, 33. 33. Thank you. Okay, number. see, I was close. Close, close enough. Close enough. Yeah. Okay. okay. By the way, what you, you're not, Bundy wear? by the way, you're not supposed to know the answers to any of these questions. <laughs> I, I know think. some. Okay. Okay, I have one for you. Okay, uh -oh. here we go. Chris okay, Law. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I don't know if this ever ended up in the pilot, but 
Al Bundy says to Steve Rhodes, do you know what PMS stands for? Do you know? Uh, Chris Law. What, what, the, what the line is? Or What does it stand for? What the line was. We're he not says, asking. No, he says to him, you know, Steve, you know what PMS stands for? I don't know this one. Yeah, this is a little, little known fact. What is it? Because I think it got cut out of the pilot because it was too risque. Mm -hmm. It's okay on this show, right? So I'm not going to cuss. Go for it. Pummel men's scrotums. <laughs> <laughs> and you're welcome. <laughs> so take that, Chris Law. How's it? There you go. She went on the other foot I'm right there. I mean, you're all for one. Now you have that in your back pocket. You have that in your back pocket. Amazing. <laughs> so much fun. Thanks for coming Thank on this you show. Thank you for having me. We, uh, as, I, as you could tell, we're big fans. Thank we're you so much. big fans. Are at 1C Applegate and check out whysoawake.com, at whysoawake on Twitter. Uh, to find out maybe why you are having trouble getting to sleep. It could be a very simple fix. It could be. Right? Mm -hmm. What's going on over there, Well, we, we meant to bring this up. And yeah, we, we, uh, we, just, we just remembered that she's in the famous uh, Matt Foley motivational speaker sketch from and Saturday Night Live. You and David Spade just yes. can't keep it Trying together. Trying not to laugh that, that I do thing. know. Do you want to ask a question before we, we let her go? ask a question. Well, well, I mean, why was that happening? How'd you not keep it together? <laughs> it started because... Spade came down the stairs and he still had his pink eyeshadow on from the Gap Girls sketch <laughs> that we had just done. So I was already a raw nerve. I was already raw. Mm -hmm. And I started to laugh then. And then when Chris came out, he had already done it pretty crazy in rehearsal. But when he came out, he was like on like 11. So we, <laughs> none of us had seen it performed quite like that. So it just, we lost it. How can you not? It was crazy man you have had a again a front row seat in part of some incredible <laughs> i know comedy it's moments. been super fun it's been incredible and by the way that when well, it's not over she's no 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 <laughs> i'm not saying that at all i've just it's remarkable how, i know i've how been much, very lucky yeah exactly and by the way when she said 11 that was a spinal tap reference yes thank you those guys have not which is my they have not yeah, seen no. movie they have not seen Spinal Tap. Why do you even have them here? Great. Why are they employed? <laughs> Why are they employed if they haven't seen Spinal Tap Great. at least 50 times? Question, Christine. It's like Apple my favorite, one of my top favorite movies of, of all, time. all time. Exactly. They have no idea. It is a, it is a master class. How do you spell that? Oh, stop oh. it. Oh. Spinal. Stop it. This is Spinal Tap. <laughs> I was one when yeah. it came out. And you would love this, the, 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 uh, the song Big Bottoms from yeah. Spinal Tap. Big Bottoms. My girl's got them. <laughs> mud, <laughs> mud flaps. My girl's got them. Yeah. Uh, it's a right. little globular on the a little globular. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Christina Applegate <laughs> here on The Rich Eisen Show on the final episode of Chris Law and Chris Brockman. Stay here. <laughs> the Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.